came over and poked my camera and said to delete everything. When Prophet Muhammad migrated to Medina, the first place he stopped was in a place called Quba, right outside of Medina. It was a little village and he stayed there for around two weeks and built the first mosque ever built in the whole of Islam called, you could probably guess, Masjid Quba. هاجر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إلى مدينة المنورة لأنه دعا الناس إلى لا إله إلا الله والذي معناه لا معبود بحق إلا الله ولكن القريش رفضوا ذلك ولا زالوا يعبدون ويشركون بغير الله فلذلك هاجر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأصحابه إلى مدينة المنورة طيب نكمل القصة Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم left Quba and arrived in Medina on a camel And Medina at that time, there's a fly. And Medina at that time was mostly made up of date farms just like this one. Some people tried to take the reins of the camel, but he told them not to because he said it had been ordered where to go and it settled at the house of Abu Ayyub Al Ansari. And that house is where he lived temporarily, but Close by, there was a piece of waste that keeps on the cars passing by. But close by, there was a piece of waste ground owned by two brothers called Sahel. There's another car owned by two brothers called Sahel and Suhail, and he bought that land off them, and that is where Al Masjid and Nabawi was built. I am now in the old part of the Prophet's Mosque Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and if you look over here Al-Mabni Hunaq Yusamma Al-Hujurat Wa fiha kanna yaskun al-Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wa idha nazart ila hadhihi al-Amida huna Kulluha saada illa hadhihi al-Saf huna Wa dhalika li anna fi dhalika al-Waqt Kana al-Masjidu faqt yamtaddu min al-Hujurat hunaq Ila hadhihi al-Amida huna you might be able to read that they say Masjid Muhammad alayhi salam. And in the time of Umar and Uthman radiallahu anhum, they expanded the mosque a bit as well. But then when the Ottomans came, they expanded it all the way to that door over there. And the ones who put the domes that you can see in, they were the Mamluks. But then all the painting that was done all around the mosque, that was all done by the Ottomans as well. But today the Masjid is much, much like way bigger than it was before. It is now over 35 acres big, which is as big as 17 full-sized football pitches, which is just, that's crazy. And the message can now hold half a million people praying inside this mosque. <laughs> وهذا حجمه بعد التوسيع السعودي ويخططون إلى توسيع أبعد من ذلك لكن يعني انظر إلى كبره بكل مسجد يوجد مكان يخطب فيها الإمام وهناك هو المكان الذي كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يخطب فيه وباللغة العربية يسمى منبر and the reason why this is so busy is because it was said by Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم that what is between my house and my member over there is a garden from the gardens of paradise. Also located by this area of the mosque is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's grave. And I know quite a lot of people have misconceptions that we worship the Prophet or or anything like that. But that that's completely forbidden, strictly forbidden in Islamic law. You're not allowed to offer any supplication or worship to the Prophet at all. So yeah, anyway.
A crazy thing just happened. While I was filming that last shot that you saw just then, a security guard came over and pulled us out of uh, all the other people, took my camera and said that I'm not allowed to film there and told me to delete everything that I had on my SD card, everything that I'd filmed. But then, another security guard came over and said, oh, oh yeah, this, this kid's got a YouTube channel. I've seen him on YouTube. It's fine, it's fine, just leave him. So alhamdulillah, the guy said, okay, just be careful. And he let us keep everything that was on my SD card, alhamdulillah. So you guys can still watch the video. عندنا رسالة من واحد المتابعين خلينا نوصل الفيديو 25000 لايك نعم هذا الفيديو اخذني حوالي شهرين او اكثر لاصنع فارجوكم ان تذهبوا تحت وتعطي الفيديو لايك وايضا اذا في اي واحد منكم عنده سؤال فاسالني في الكومنتس تحت وان شاء الله سوف اجاوب عن كل الاسئلة الذي سالتم تحت طيب نكمل الفيديو there's another thing about Medina which is the weather. The weather is actually really nice. It's totally different to Jeddah. It's much cooler and windier. Maybe you can even hear the wind blowing, but it, it's really nice. after Maghrib in the Haram and Medina has always been a hub for learning and it's the same right now if you look over here this is a talk and all of those people there are all listening to the talk there must be like more than 500 of them وهناك درس آخر يمكنك أن ترى تجمع الناس وهناك آخر وهناك آخر هذا تجمع كبير فيها مئات الأشخاص This guy has come up to me, he's been with me from the first 10,000 followers وترى هؤلاء الناس هنا وكل هؤلاء Those are all groups of people memorizing the Quran There must be like thousands of them And it's not just for young people as well You can see back there Even, even older people do it والآن وقت العشاء وضيعنا جزمتنا مرة ثانية لابد أن تتذكر رقم الرفوف الذي تركتها فيه We always have this issue We can never find or remember where we put them Oh, here they are, here they are We just prayed Aisha and it's getting a bit late now and we need to go and eat and go to bed and stuff so I'm going to pick up with you guys back in the morning, okay Good morning everyone, today is Friday, so today we're going to pray Juma Friday prayer in Al Masjid and Nabawi. Let's go. Nice. You see, we've come to Juma Salah now and it's so busy that they're shutting off the gates because the whole mosque is full. It's too busy to go there, we can't even fit through. Instead of going inside the masjid, we've had to come onto the roof because that's the only place that there's space. My battery is just, just about to run out, so I'm gonna have to just pause here until I get the new battery, which is back in the house. So I might be a little while. There we go, I got the new battery in, and inshallah, the last thing we're gonna do today, thank you Google Maps, the last thing inshallah we're gonna go to and do today is climb to the top of Mount Ahud and try and get a view of the whole city and the sunset from the top, so it should be pretty epic. We have to go to Medina, a small city in Medina. 
مدينة لنوصل إلى جبل أحد انظر إلى هؤلاء الخروف هناك هم مباشر على حافة الجبل مجنون Here we are at the very base of the mountain where we're going to start our trek. And so the journey began. The two travelers could not have possibly known what lay ahead of them. Maybe it was some rocks, maybe some trees, maybe some dirt. Rocks and trees. And dirt as well. Now you have to understand that Ohud is a an immensely huge mountain so there are like loads of different paths you can take but the one we are choosing today is gonna go up that way then up and keep on snaking around to the top I just want to point out how we are now climbing a mountain in a thobe which wasn't really the best idea but inshallah it'll be fine just while we're walking up this mountain, I want to say a few things about Uhud itself. Uhud is very important to the Muslims and it is the location of the second big battle in Islam. In the first battle called the Battle of Badr, it's a bit of a tongue twister, the Muslims had fought against the Quraysh and won. So the Quraysh had come all the way to Medina to seek revenge for their loss at the Battle of Badr. And Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had come out here to Uhud with his companions to face the Quraysh. When he'd organized the army sallallahu alayhi wasallam he'd put a group of archers on top of sort of like a mound and told them to not leave under any circumstances so the battle began and at the beginning the Muslims had gained the upper hand and on the mound the archers had an argument between them whether to come down or not and then most of them went against orders and went down the mound. However, Khalid ibn Walid, who wasn't a Muslim at the time, seized that opportunity and attacked the remaining archers and then swooped on the Muslims from behind and chaos ensued. After that unexpected attack, a group of the Quraysh fiercely started battling Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his companions around him and they broke his helmet, his tooth and got pieces of chainmail stuck in his cheek After that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, went on to this mountain, Mount Uhud and the Quraysh started spreading rumours that he had been killed and all of this was the result of the Muslims not following the orders of the Messenger I've got to stop talking now because this climbing is tiring. We're climbing up there and that's where we're going to stop. We are almost there. There, we're almost there. We still have to climb that huge boulder somehow. I think we're going to, yeah, just climb up the back. It's not that hard. Well, I mean, I, I don't think it's that hard. Come on. Oh, there's some prickly stuff. How am I gonna get up there? Oh, this is actually very, very hard to climb. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. Oh, made it. I made it. And that right there, you can't see it, clip. That right there is what we came. is the end of the video uh, I hope that this has given you a perspective on what it is like to visit this amazing city of Medina and if you did enjoy it be sure to share it with all your friends and family and basically everyone you know so that we can share this amazing knowledge together and if I did make any mistakes or missed anything be sure to tell me in the comments below okay assalamu alaikum <laughs>